Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm doing a quick video before I go to work. It's approximately 8.42 a.m. on a Monday morning, August 15th, 2022. I just wanted to let you guys know what I experienced on Friday, Saturday, Saturday night. So I have a client. He's a male. Um... It's just a bad experience. So, um, when I first got there, he was with um, another lady that lives across the hall. And she, um, I guess they're rest of friends or whatever. So, I go into work overnight from 9 to 6. Um, so, when I, as I, when I get there, everything was fine. To, up until the lady left. Once the lady left. The gentleman was coming on to me and everything. Um, he asked me, you know, was I in a relationship? I told him yes. Um, and he just gave me creep vibes. Creep vibes, very creepy. Um, now, to get into details, um, horrible night. But um, he um, he actually put on Naked and Afraid. Now, that's where, like, I've I never seen that show, but I heard about it. And... To my knowledge, like, you know, uh, I just heard, you know, that they have them covered, but not fully covered. So anyway, it, it was strange for him to even put that on to begin with. So he's like, oh, you know, they cover the private areas besides the, the rear end. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I said, okay, fine. So we're sitting there watching it or whatever. Well, he's watching it. I'm on my phone. He's watching it. And he's like, are you paying attention? I'm like, yeah, I'm paying attention. But I really was uncomfortable just even watching it. So anyway, fast forward. So he tells me about his other aide and how he wants to get rid of her. Mind you, I just met him not even 20 minutes in. And he said he was going to call, you know, the agency and let them know he wanted me to work for him permanently. So I said, okay, fine. You can call them. You can let them know. Um, but... Once he did what he did, then all that went out the window. He tells me um, he wants me to be his aide, and he wants me to work for him full time. I said, okay. Um, fast forward to uh, it's like 11 something at night. So he tells me his aide, um, she actually sleeps on his couch. Like um, he has a recliner and he also has a, um, a love seat. So he said that she sleeps on she sleeps um on a love seat. But as far as to me, he don't want me to sleep on a love seat. He wants me to sleep in the bed with him. I said, What? I said, I'm not sleeping in your bed with you. You're gonna sleep in your bed and I'm gonna sleep on the couch. I said, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna go to sleep. I done took I done drunk some um a double shot um Starbucks coffee to stay up so I won't fall asleep. So he tells me, um, no, you know, I feel comfortable with you sleeping in the bed with me or whatever. And I'm like, no, I'm not sleeping in your bed. So carry on. So as the night went on, it's like 12 o'clock. He decides he needed to use the bathroom. Mind you, he's a forest. So I have to um, assist him to the bathroom. So I go assist him to the bathroom. So as I'm going, you know, he goes in the bathroom, take care of his business. I shut the door. I went from outside. Before he went in the bathroom, he had a shirt on. Afterwards, he didn't have a shirt on. I'm like, what the heck? Like, where your shirt at? He said, oh, I took it off. So I said, okay, fine. It's his house. He feel comfortable without a shirt. Fine. But it was weird to me because you had it on all this time. But then you come on to me and then you take your shirt off. I'm like, okay, fine. So... I'm on, I'm, I'm, I'm texting my niece. I'm letting her know exactly what's going on because I'm, I was in an awkward position. Like, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't lose my job because I need my job. I can't lose it, but I can't feel uncomfortable either. So anyway, fast forward. Um, he tells me that whatever is meant for us, whatever is meant for, um, between us, that 
that we can't stop it is destined by God. I'm like, wait, I just told you I'm with somebody. Then you're still insisting that I lay in your bed with you. Then again, you're saying that was meant for us is for us. I, first of all, no, that's not for me. So I, I explained to him, I said, <clears throat> excuse me, I said to him, why are you even, I asked him a question. I said, why are you even coming on to me like this? Like, I done told you I'm with somebody. I'm not interested in you. I said, I work for you or whatever. So he just, he said, well, can you make my bed or whatever? Um, he said, you could take, he had a red and black blanket. And he's like, um, you could go ahead and put the blanket there as well for you. I said, I'm not laying in your bed. Like, what? Don't you understand? I'm not laying in your bed. So he said, well, if I so happen to put my arm around you, you know, don't feel no type of way. And if you happen to put your arm around me, I won't feel no type of way. Then on top of that, he tells me, if, th if throughout the night I feel uncomfortable, then I can lay on his chest. Like, you creep. You're a creep. You're a creep. Like, if I'm, I'm telling you I'm feeling some type of way, and you're still going on with it, like, no. Then he tells me that he's a mechanic. Um, and that if I need my vehicle fixed, like, if it's a transmission problem, he won't charge me a lot. He only charged me 150 Then, if he don't charge me the 150 he he'll just do it for free. Then he tells me if I didn't have gas money, that I can go ahead and, you know, just ask him for it. He'll give it to me like a sugar daddy, basically. So I told him I don't want no parts or anything. So I had to find my way out of there. I At this point, I'm thinking, you know, first thing come to my mind, I'm about to get raped. The first and foremost. Like, you're, you're, you're insisting on... Like, you just keep pressuring me. Like, like, like you just keep on for me to try to get me to lay in the bed with you. No, no, I'm not laying in the bed with you. I'm not doing anything with you. I'm just here to assist you, make sure you're okay over the night, overnight or whatever. So I feel so uncomfortable. So I'm texting my niece. I'm like, I got to get out of here. I cannot be here. I, I, I'm, um, I was basically scared, scared for my life. Like I said, I'm about to get raped. Like, I feel like I'm about to get raped. Like, seriously, that's how bad it was. Maybe I'm not like, my story is not, deep but i don't want to get into deep details as to far as as far as exactly how things transpire but i'm giving y'all the, the you know what i could give y'all so anyway i'm texting my niece i'm like yo i gotta get out of here i feel so uncomfortable i feel like i'm about to get raped i'm scared this then the third so the man um throughout the whole night he was sitting right next to me and it was just real creepy. It was creepy, but I was kind of like ignoring it at first. But then it, when he just kept insisting me laying in his bed, no. So anyway, as I'm texting, I'm like, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. So I had to make up something. I had to think of something real, bad, real fast. My bag is sitting on his chair. That's right across from us. So I'm like, boom. I'm like, um, I text her and I'm like, listen, I'll call you as soon as I get in the car. So... Once I get in the car, well, I'm, I'm telling him, listen, my niece is here. I got to go take her this bag. This is her bag and everything. So she, um, he's like, um, take the key with you. I said, no, she came into the through the, through the first door because it's like you got to get buzzed. Um, he has to buzz you in in order for you to come in the building. So I'm like, no, she already came to the first door. I got to go out to um, open the door for her or whatever no i had to get the hell out of there or i was going to get raped something bad was going to happen to me and that wasn't happening anyway so i'm explaining um i'm calling a job i'm calling the on-call people i'm letting them on uh, i'm trying to let them know what's going on she's not answering mind you he's a fall risk so he cannot be by himself if something happens to him on my watch that means i'm either going to get terminated from my job or, you know, other things or legal actions will be taken. Whatever the case may be. Anyway, I'm telling him, I'm telling her, I'm texting, calling. She's not answering. So I had to call somebody else and, let, and inform them what happened. So she's like, yeah, get the hell out of there. I would have left as well. This and the third. This is where the kicker coming at. So she doesn't, the, the, the lady who's on call doesn't answer my call at all. 
So she, the next morning, she calls me. I ignored her call because I'm asleep. I'm like, I'm not going to get into it until I get up or whatever to let her know what happened. So when I finally return her call back, she's asking me what happened. She gave me an excuse as, as to why she couldn't answer the phone. Oh, her air conditioner was on. Her fan was on at the same time. She can't hear her phone. She got a new ringtone, this, that, and the third. I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. That's besides the point. Your own call, you're supposed to make sure your ringer is all the way up just in case of an emergency. So as I'm talking to her, she's like, um, basically it was just some bull crap. Then she go ahead and she's like, um, that she's, she apologized for how things like how things happen, like what happened to me, you know, she hoped she could, she was able to answer the phone. Mind you, she called him once I didn't answer the phone. He going to tell her that I left and never came back. No, you if you're going to tell her the story or going to tell her anything, make sure you tell her in the in between as well as to why I left. So, he, um, mind you, before anything, he had got my phone number and he's like, you know, because he's supposed to, you know, have my phone number just in case, you know, emergencies. So he texts me and he's well, he called me twice. I didn't answer. He texts me. He said, I hope I didn't say anything that offended you. Mind you, red flag. Mm, you know, you said something. So that's why now you're worried. So I'm like, um, so then the lady, she's like, you know, she apologizes. Then she tells me she got allergies, some type of bull crap that I'm not trying to hear. Like I was traumatized, put it that way up until now. Like I, I have to go to work. I'm going to another building. Luckily is is a female and not a male. Not saying all males are bad, but that guy right there. No, I would never work for him again. She got the nerve to ask me because I was supposed to work for him yesterday night. She asked me. So I'm guessing you're not going back. Like, B, are you kidding me? Why don't you go and deal with that crap? I'm not going back. You can go back. So she's like, oh, that she apologizes for what happened. If you apologize and you that sincere about your apology and what I went through, why would you ask me if I'm going back? That don't even make no damn sense to me. I don't know. So now today I have to make a written report about it or whatever so they could terminate his services, which I feel as though they need to terminate it because at the end of the day, there might be somebody else or, they, or, or somebody that's working for them that's dealing with that. No, they shouldn't have to deal with that. When you go to a workplace or anywhere, you should feel comfortable and, you know, treated with, with respect. Like that sexual harassment shit, that shit is real. I experienced that shit and I'm still not over it. I'm not over it. So she's like, oh, you're not going, uh, well, I'm guessing you're not going back. I said, would you go back? Would you go back? I'm not going back. Would you go back? You can experience it for yourself if you want to. I wouldn't want nobody to. But just for her asking me that, why don't she experience it? So now I'm in a limbo going from spot to spot because my permanent spot is no longer there. I had terminated that because... He was disrespectful towards me, not the guy that I just worked for overnight, the one before. And it's like, no, it's this is my last stop. If this doesn't work, I'm going to find me another job. That's just that. Maybe it's not the feel for me. I don't know. Or maybe I just experienced something for somebody that thought that I was actually going to go ahead and, you know, fall for his crap. It's terrible. It's terrible out here. But anyway, guys, I got to go. I got to go to work. It's um, that time. I only got four minutes. But thanks for listening to my story, guys. I hope it helped you guys. Don't let nobody, you know, the workplace get all over on you. If it's sexual harassment, report that crap. You shouldn't have to put up with that shit at all. Report it. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everybody. See you guys. Bye.